Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in once again to another installment of The Rad Movement here on YouTube. It is I, Robbie Rapole, as fucking always. And today I want to talk to you about what to do when you're in a transitional season of your life. Um, I have not made a video in two weeks now. Uh, I have been fully involved in working at my tattoo shop, Rad Inc., here. Uh, and it is because we had some really foul shit go down with our former staff. Uh, well, not all of our former staff, four members of the former staff. Uh, they were stealing, they were lying, and they were trying to take my business apart. And that hurt, that hurt really bad because I loved all these people. I gave them a lot of my energy, a lot of my love, a lot of my efforts, a lot of my time. Uh, I tell you this story not because I give a fuck about smearing their names, but because I give a fuck about you and you recovering from whatever the fuck you may be going through. This has been difficult for me. Uh, it's been really difficult to recover from the betrayal, the lack of loyalty, the lack of honor, the lack of love that I thought we all shared. So it's been difficult. It's not been fun, but it's been interesting. Uh, I've been learning a lot about myself. I've been figuring out a lot how to navigate these pains that I felt before from others, uh, which really helped because I knew that because I've made it through similar feeling pains, I will make it again. And here we are making it again. Uh, I'm doing great. It's just difficult. My emotions uh, have been challenged. My confidence has been challenged, but my confidence has also been raised. My awareness of self has been raised. Looking at the numbers in my studio when not getting stolen from is awesome. Uh, you see that things are going well and that the business that I thought I wasn't running well actually runs really well when it's run properly by the right humans. <clears throat> the weird thing is this is something I've experienced before with completely different people a couple of times. So the main thing I'm trying to do is tap back into who the fuck I am and knowing that, like really knowing who the fuck I am and really tapping into the knowledge of, I am doing a great job. I have been doing a great job. I know my truth. I'm a beautiful human. Uh, I am a human, so I fuck up and I make mistakes, but I'm man enough and grown enough to accept where I go wrong, move forward and fix shit. So that's been my goal. My goal has been to fix shit fix the way the business is being run, fix the things I was neglecting, fix the fact that I wasn't here as much as I could have been, uh, and just fix where we needed to get our systems and processes right. So I don't know how much of my story you've been following, but I made a video about, you know, the gaslighting and manipulation of the coaching that I received from a former coach of mine, Matt Clemmer. And then now I look at the deception and lies and theft that was going on inside my studio. And I realize all these things that have been going wrong in my business life actually have been going right. And let me explain. Last night, my oldest son, Jaden, he goes, Dad, you know, I've watched you guys bounce back in two weeks from this time of stress with the shop. And, you know, I remember the two times prior to this where you were worried about losing the shop. It took you a while to bounce back and it wasn't easy. And now I see like how quickly you're bouncing back. And that was a huge testament to like our dedication to ourselves, to our studio and seeing like, wow, my son notices like the, the speed and efficiency of us bouncing back. So I've got to notice it. <clears throat> and I've been receiving tons of messages of positivity from folks. Uh, tons of messages saying that the rad movement helps me daily. 
And so it just makes me realize that while there are people that will say things about you that aren't true, spread blatant, gross, disgusting lies, uh, it doesn't mean they're right. If you know your truth, and if you know who you are, and if you know what you put into this world, then that's all that fucking matters. And that's all I'm focusing on at this point in my life. I'm doing my best to be my best for my, my studio, for my family. Actually, my family first, um, because they're the ones that matter the most and they're the ones that are gonna be with me on my deathbed. Um, and I'm putting as much into my studio as humanly possible without neglecting my family. Uh, we also lost our full-time babysitter uh, yesterday. So uh, he moved back home because he missed his family. So like, man, the punches keep, keep coming. The punches, the kicks, um, life fucking with me is just big right now. But I don't really feel like it's life fucking with me. I feel like it's life giving me the things that come the way they come and me learning how to navigate life a little better every time. So every time these difficulties happen, I learn how to navigate them a little better every time. My second divorce, as much as I still like cried and screamed in my pillow and wanted to kill myself sometimes, my second divorce was way easier than my first because I knew I made it through my first one. Every time I've had shit go wrong in any business that I've had, I've recovered from them. So the takeaway from this is if shit has gone wrong in your life, if you've been shown disloyalty, betrayal, uh, if life has just fallen apart out from under you and you have no idea how or why, well, why is to show you how strong you are. How doesn't fucking matter. But why is to show you how strong you are, how truly fucking dedicated you can be to your why. And then the how just comes together because we've brought in more in the past two weeks than we have in the past two years, uh, you know, per day because things are running right. And we've got people that care and are really trying running the fuck out of this place. And people that aren't just here for themselves that are here for the whole purpose. So if shit's going wrong for you, if life is difficult, if you've been betrayed, if you've been lied to, if you've been hurt, if you've been stolen from, if you've been cheated on, if you've been going through a divorce or a separation of relationships or losing a job, any of that stuff. If you're going through anything that's super difficult in life and you keep feeling like the punches don't stop coming, I'm sorry, but you'll make it. You're gonna fucking make it. Just like I'm making it now and better than ever. And just like I've made it in the past and grown more than I could ever imagine over the time that I've spent that I didn't realize was doing me so much good of just trudging through the hard stuff and keeping my head high and just doing the fucking work. So just do the fucking work. Eat right, exercise, take care of yourself, go to the gym, take care of your loved ones, make sure that you're doing well in, in, at work and in business. Make sure you set proper, safe, healthy boundaries and just Keep moving towards your goals with your why at the head of the focus. The reason why I've paid so much attention to my family lately in the past year or two is because I realized they're my why. Like I said, they're the ones that are gonna be there with me uh, when I'm on my deathbed. And so much more of that. They're the ones that fill me with love and support regularly. So just keep your why at the forefront and keep moving forward, focused on your goals and your dreams. And I promise you, you will make it to where you want to be. It might be difficult. Well, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be fucking miserable. But if you keep your shit together, and if you keep moving forward, and if you keep thinking past experiences that hurt so fucking bad for teaching you how to deal with these new experiences, your life's going to change. I thank people that have hurt me on a regular basis just out into the universe. Hey, thanks for teaching me how to deal with this because without you doing this, I wouldn't have known how to go through this. So keep moving forward. Know your fucking truth. Believe in your fucking self. And get so confident that some people might call you fucking arrogant. 
That's where I am. And I am completely unapologetic for it. You know why? Because there's an ass for every seat and there's a seat for every ass. And if I'm not your fucking flavor and if you don't like me, I can't do nothing to change that. I'm just going to continue to be me. Fuck you if you don't like me. Or I love you if you do like me. Or go on ahead and don't like me. It's none of my fucking concern. Just remember that shit. I'm Rad, and so are you. I'm Robbie Rapol, signing off for another installment of the Rad Movement. Have a fucking amazing day. Go fucking believe in yourself. Go fucking do something to further your goals that fucking align with your why. I love you. Have a brilliant day.